okay let's make signet ring as shown in the photo type in 0 enter and specify radius value as per your ring size so currently I am using 8.5 mm radius now select the ring and type in offset value so I am using 1.5 mm offset outer side type in line See, this is the method I have prepared for this signet ring. You can also create it using different methods. Use the split tool, select enter, then select both the lines, enter. So, I have just split the circle and move the extra lines to another layer and type in extra 2. Okay, so I have created one small portion of a circ uh, circle that's called arc okay keep pressing alter key click on the arrow and type in minus 0.5 again keep pressing alter key type in minus 1 I need polygon to adjust top profile so I am going to use polygon center type in 0 enter and set the number of sides so currently I am going to use number of sides 8 for as a hexa, hexagon uh, octagon sorry so set the size as per requirement you can also check the measure distance whatever the size you want to set either you can use 9 or 10 whatever you can set so currently I am going to use 9.3 now little bit rotate if your design needs this style at top top portion bring it to the top so these planes these viewports are working as an active plane so you can use different views to make the work easy now keep pressing alter key and click on the arrow type in the value 2.5 okay so uh, now just go to top view okay hide this con use control edge now create one line zero this side again zero this side okay now select sorry select use the trim tool and click on the rest of the portion so again I am repeating the method first select the ok I am just undoing select the polygon click on the trim tool oh just make the reverse select both the lines because I don't want to trim these lines I want to trim this object so keep unselected the object which you want to trim so I have selected the lines click on the trim tool and click on the side which you want to trim okay so now go to perspective unhide all objects yeah this is fine now use extend arc by arc to point click on this line and this point again see it is on upper side again this arc to this point and this arc to this point now we have very fantastic option that is called loft so go to loft click on the two cows to make the surface first and again second no this is the first and this is the second now use the shaded tool yes this is fine now select and join them go to the top view and mirror them because we have created symmetric object from zero so this is my overall zero of rhino so i am just using mirror tool type in zero enter and create the straight line go to the perspective here uh, if you don't need these two lines move to layer which is turned off so it will automatically get hidden so create two lines 
now i'm just going to use sweep to command so here is the sweep to first rail second rail and this is my cross section okay this is fine now again to join these two lines i'm going to use loft why i'm going to use this uh, kind of process the practice and experience will make the things clear okay oh select the surfaces and join them now go to top view and use the mirror tool type in zero and click second click straight way i want to also join this open section so go to shaded view okay this is already shaded go to the surface loft it's look like an rendered uh, okay so another side use loft tool okay so now need to join all the surfaces control j you can use control j or either you can use this join tool now type in cap so cap will close the object okay uh, let's move this object to another layer so now we have little bit brighter color so make it active layer double click so this right mark is showing the active layer okay so currently i have just created one closed object select the object and go to properties it is showing it is closed solid poly surface so we need closed solid poly surface or poly surface not open poly surface it should be closed to create a uh, wax model rpd model we need it closed okay now go to side view okay double click on the right so it will show the all the four points now go create the line this is my quadrant okay uh, go to straight away this way again i want another straight line from this side no not from this side this side and okay if i hover over my cursor from this viewport to bottom side it will automatically change its orientation its sketching plane so this is very helpful fantastic thing now use the curve go to the quadrant and click create as shown in the figure yeah type in mirror zero enter click the bottom side for second click now select the both the arc and click on the join so make sure it is join now use sweep one select the circle select the arc okay i have created this type of shape for center cutting select the shape and type in cap now it is close the solid object go to boolean difference either you can also use boolean difference because now we have created both the solids so go to solid panel and use difference tool select the ring then enter i want delete input yes and select this object and enter so now the inside ring size has been trimmed in curved way it's not straight it's curved way half curve so this is fantastic option now use duplicate face border click on the top surface so i have just extracted one border and keep pressing shift key and uh, scale it down now use extrude curve and uh, go to the front set the value you want to depth inside of the object again i am going to use difference select the object then enter select this second object and enter so this is the cutted object okay now go to the select panel and click here select curves it will select all the curves from the inside entire drawing and move them to another layer extra to 
so all the cows has been hidden now if you want to type in something here here is the text tool so we are just typing b then happy okay make them little bit in a straight way okay click here somewhere on the top portion or this bottom portion then bring it inner side okay scale it down as per the size okay this is the wonderful ring yeah 